Good morning. It is Sunday, November 28th. We just got in and I don't know what we're going to do today. Icon was closed at the end of last week for their Thanksgiving holiday in America. So none of the marking took place, even though I tried my best and got everything done by Wednesday morning. But honestly, that's kind of good. I think I should have a short day in the studio. I haven't been able to sleep very well the last couple days. I hope that the start of your week's going well. We are going to get the vlog posted, get some lunch, see how we feel, and have ourselves a good day. Good morning to you. It is Monday, November 20th. 29th and I don't know. I don't know this morning everyone. Got a little tickle in my throat. Took the online survey and it said like mild symptoms like mine aren't a cause to get a COVID test. Today we're still waiting for our stuff to get marked. Should be marked any minute now. So I think for the morning there's one thing I need to do on one of my older tracks. The mix down's a little bit off so I'm gonna fix that up this morning and then See how I feel, see what's going on. But yeah, super excited for Unit 9, more of songwriting, more of music business. Such good information in these classes this quarter. All right, we're gonna get to work. Good afternoon and welcome back to Mental Health Monday. What I wanna talk about today is something that my therapist said a little while ago that has stuck with me and I think about it almost every day. And that is the opposite of anger is patience. And so anger for me encapsulates getting annoyed, getting frustrated, getting mad that someone's not doing something fast enough, so impatience. And for me it tends to come out in these passive aggressive comebacks and comments that just can be hurtful and in the end don't really make me feel good. And so the reason why I bring this up is once again talking about that awareness. I think in the music industry and in the arts and entertainment industry we we are the people that are told know the most. And we're working day in and day out and grinding and trying to find our path and make our way. It's a slow, slow process and it can get super frustrating. And I've seen a lot of artists with immense talent become jaded, bitter, and angry because things aren't happening when they think that they should be. And so I got a few things to say about that. And that is the opposite of anger, the irritation, the frustration is patience. Most of the time, my own thinking, my own expectations is really what's getting me down. So if I can become aware of expectations that I'm having on myself and other people, I can work towards changing those expectations to something that serves me better. If things feel like they're not happening fast enough. We need to slow it down. Our time is coming. We can't predict when that will be. We just have to keep doing our best on a day-to-day -day basis. One day at a time, do the best we can with that day, no matter what that looks like, and just keep going. Don't quit before the miracle happens. Don't forget, rejection is protection. Countless times I've had ideas of what I wanted to do, and life redirected me in a way that turned out even better. That's the faith that I hold is, when someone says no, it's going to open another door. I just can't see it yet. Gotta keep the faith, keep working hard day to day, and things will work out. All right, that'll be it for Mental Health Monday today. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, November 30th. I didn't get a notification that my stuff was marked until quarter to six last night. So at least my assignments have been marked and we're carrying on to the next unit. It's Tuesday, so at 11 we have therapy. Got quite a bit to talk about. You know, life gets overwhelming. It's nice to have someone to talk to about it. Yeah, you know what? Most of the time we're done the lessons by Tuesday, so we got our work cut out for us. So why don't we just get right into Sunday fun day on a Tuesday? So we are moving into unit nine of level five. Hard to believe we only have two more weeks left of level five. Let's get right into it. All right, unit nine, creating your brand placeholders. Starting off with music business, creating your brand. In this lesson, we'll look at how to begin developing a brand for your music. Creating your brand mantra, finding your brand tone, best practices for reaching out to designers, jumpstarting your brand creation process with a questionnaire. Moving forward into songwriting, 
Laundry Room Clues and Deciphering Placeholders. In this lesson, we'll look at how to make your music and lyrics work together. Letting lyrical ideas define the concept of a song versus letting a concept define the song's lyrics. Developing a melodic and rhythmic structure for lyrics. Relying on the natural flow a syllabic placeholder takes to help shape lyrical and melodic content. And then as usual, we end with a keys playing assignment. All right, we got our work cut out for us this week. It looks like the assignment for songwriting is write an entire song. I hope that just means lyrics, not also instrumental, especially because we're behind this week. Excited for the branding stuff. It's always good to take a deep look at what your brand represents. And for me, kind of already being established with my brand, it's just making me feel more confident as an artist. And that'll be it for Sunday Fun Day on a Tuesday. Well, good morning, everyone. Wednesday, December 1st. And as you can see, we are not in the studio. So sore throat the last couple days. In Canada where I live, we have a self-assessment tool. I took it, told me, don't worry about it for 24 hours unless it doesn't go away. We have a hotline here, called the hotline, told them, well, I had a dry throat and because of that, I've been coughing a bit. As most of you probably know, as soon as you have multiple symptoms, they recommend testing. So I had to call another hotline and now I'm waiting for a call back to go take my test. So that'll be 24 to 48 hours waiting for the results. I would love to have kept in line with the vlog, but obviously I have to do my part here. Protect other people, go and get tested, make sure that this is just the common cold. I mean, I'm double vaccinated, so I'm not really worried, but obviously if it is COVID, I gotta make sure I'm not infecting other people. Doing the responsible thing, that's what we gotta do. I don't know, it's Wednesday, I mean, I could do the Wednesday vlog segment. Oh, there's the cat. <laughs> I probably will. I've done all the classes and everything. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Who knows when I'll get the call? Who knows what I'll be doing, but we'll talk to you soon. Well, good evening and welcome back to the Wednesday midweek check-in. How am I feeling this week? Well, you already know how I'm feeling this week. I am feeling kind of down, to be honest. I have kept on my schedule, done the vlog, been in the studio every week, done a unit a week. I mean, we're doing the right thing. Just feeling a bit discouraged at the moment. Luckily, I finished all the classes already this week so we can do our check-in. All right, so for music business this week, this was all about creating your brand. Now what they had us do is a very detailed breakdown about exactly what we're going to do with our brand. That's our brand outlook, our brand vision, what we want our logo to look like, who we're going to hire to make our logo, how much it's gonna cost, what the budget is, all that good stuff. So as I've been talking about, the music business portion of this program is essentially creating your entire persona as an artist. Even though I have been doing these classes on myself as elated, this is giving me a better appreciation for what a brand actually is. I feel like I'm really locking in who I am as an artist and what I'm representing. All right, on to this week's songwriting class. We're talking about placeholders and basically understanding what it takes to write lyrics and to write a lyrical melody and composition. Essentially what these placeholders are are kind of like the do's and the da's and the oo's and the ah's and like a lot of vowel sounds. You know, I don't know about you, but as a producer, when I hear a chord progression or just something really simple, my brain automatically starts to create other melodies around that. Essentially what I could be creating is for an instrumental track, a lead synth melody, or I could be creating a vocal melody. And so as vulnerable as it would be, the instructor, Carrie Leva, my old mentor, basically created some chords and then kind of just started like du -du 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 humming and singing vocal ideas over the chord pattern. And then it was cool because as it kind of looped, she got a couple of words here and there, and it was just a really interesting, really cool thing to watch that process unfold. Now, a great example of this is Sia writing Diamonds. Diamonds is a song that Rihanna sang, but Sia was actually the writer for it. And there's a recording of when she was in the studio and she started coming up with the melody in this kind of do da do 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 da da singing along with the chords fashion. And she like nailed the whole thing first try. It was really, really cool. So a lot of it is just tapping into our artistry, our vulnerability, and just kind of letting loose, not 
judging yourself and going for it. And then we have a keys playing assignment. And the other assignments you may have guessed already, music business, writing out everything to do with the ins and outs of what our brand represents and what it means to us. And for songwriting, we have to write an entire song with piano. Full song, verse, chorus, writing actual lyrics, and we have to sing them ourselves. That'll be a bit tricky for me this week. I mean, I'm pretty certain my test is gonna be negative. I don't feel that bad at all, but yeah. What a great week of classes. This week's been weird though, like our assignments didn't get marked till Tuesday because of the holiday, and now we got this. Super exciting stuff though. We get to write our first song. I told you this was leading to me singing on my own tracks. All right, that is it for the Wednesday midweek check-in today. It is Friday, December 3rd. Good news, COVID test negative. Better news, we're back in the studio feeling good. Pretty much I was borderline, didn't really need to get a test, but like I said, pretty well just a precaution, but we're good. We're good to go. Had a really good mentor session yesterday, did it at home. Essentially showing my mentor where we're at, he actually wants to stay on board. So potential manager situation, maybe. Who knows, lots of stuff happening. It's like what they say when you just keep working hard and you start attracting people to you. That's kind of what I'm starting to see happen now. But yeah, we are not really behind on the work surprisingly luckily the business classes were multiple choice so I could do that at home and all we have to do now is well it's quite a task but write and perform a song so that's gonna be pretty interesting pretty well that's gonna take up my entire day I've also got a whole bunch of new samples to download and fun stuff like that so surprisingly enough we're somewhat on schedule I would have liked to have been done that today but I know that for me Songwriting gets marked also on Saturdays, so got a little bit of a bonus day there. Interesting vlog, that's for sure. It's gonna all be posted at one time on Sunday. But yeah, had to wait till we were feeling better. I don't wanna make anybody sick and then get all freaked out like I did that I need to go take a COVID test. All right, super jumbled vlog. Who knows how the rest of the week will go, but we're gonna get to work. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, December, November, December 4th. How do you like the new Icon merch? Dad hat embroidered. Ooh, looking good, looking fresh. As you can see behind us, we got Ableton open and today, you know this week has been crazy. We are finishing up our songwriting assignment for the week. I think I explained that, but yeah, this is a pretty big project. Essentially, we have to write an entire song. Never done this in my life. What I've got written down is really bad. <laughs> but I mean, this is what it's all about. Never done it before. Just kind of went with what came up. It's a super cheesy song about getting in a fight, but then realizing you're going to be okay. Yeah, this vlog's messed up this week. Didn't even post Thursday. Just going to post the entire week on Sunday, tomorrow. And yeah, I don't know. We're keeping it short. We're getting to work. As you know, I was testing out a synthesizer last week. I had decided that I wasn't going to get it, but I actually ended up pulling the trigger on Arterios Pigments 3. So after we're done and handed in this assignment, I will be doing sound design on my new synth. Let's get to work. Welcome back to Sound Design Saturday. Gotta get at least one normal vlog segment up this week. What a week we've had, but you know what? We managed to finish everything. I think my songwriting assignment's about to get marked. I got video feedback on it, but that's about it. That's besides the point. Today, we jumped into our new synth, Pigments 3, and let me tell you, this thing is a beast. I'll probably explain a lot, but essentially this thing has four different synthesis engines. You can customize so many different things. I got a couple complaints, but you know what? This synth is extremely versatile. Made by Arteria. They do a ton of classic synth emulation, and so the sound quality and all the different sounds and samples and presets that this comes with. I basically just messed around, listened to a whole bunch of different presets, and then just went at it with the knowledge that I have. A lot of this stuff is just about playing around. It's not about trying to come up with something. It's just, you know, twist this knob, twist that knob, use this filter this way, and then it's like, oh, wow, okay, I could make a bass sound out of this, you know? It's all about having fun and experimenting for sound design day. Meet me over by the computer. If you've never seen Pigments 3, this is what it looks like. 
very, very unique layout of the synth. Essentially down here, you have your global matrix area, you got your velocity, your mod wheel, your LFOs, and then down here, you flip between them. The one thing that I'd like is, say I wanted to place an LFO2 modulation here. I wish when I clicked it, it, it went to LFO2. It like followed. Because so, you know, if I'm over here and I'm trying to figure out how to alter the LFO, I have to also click here and then I can manipulate the LFO. It's just like kind of an annoying extra button I have to press. I don't know, maybe it's in the settings, who knows. Why am I blabbing on? Let's get into it. So here we are, my banks, elated presets one. We've got six presets here. Bass, rough, plucker. Brass, atmosphere, pad. House piano. Lead nice saw. Sorry if that's a bit glitchy. Pigments is an absolute CPU hog. Lead techno background. Pad airy voice. Quite an interesting synth here. Four different synthesis engines. So much you can do with it. What a crazy synth and some pretty unique sounds with that. I'm definitely feeling more of a housey atmospheric vibe, but I don't know. I don't think I'm done experimenting with it. The only thing that's troubling me right now is how much CPU this thing takes up. I literally am doing one triad, one chord, and it's glitching out my CPU. I do have the new M1 Pro Max MacBook coming, so hoping that once I get that, this will be no problem at all. All right, we're finally at the end of this crazy week. That'll be it for Sound Design Saturday. <laughs>